Allied 2-1. Push through to the factory and link up with Amber. Cash is already inbound. ETA 1 Mike, out. Rudwell! Rudwell! Time to move! Where's Jack? I don't know. He went to relieve Baker on point. LT! Dill! You still in this? All right, fuck it! On me, let's go! Alrighty. I have a blue taper on my mag. Like a blue paint. Whoa! What the heck? Are those mortars? Oh man, where, uh, where are they exactly? Oh, I see them. Scratch one. Ah, son of a bitch. Did I just get hit? I think I just got hit. My gun sounds different too. Come on, we gotta keep moving. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Kingsley, you read? Over. Baker, report! I'm pinned down! LDF, they're all over me! Holy crap! Hang on! Outlines. Outlines, combat ineffective in Oscar Mike. Multiple contacts reported west of your position. Over. Copy that. We'll hold it, Luke. Yeah. Affirmative. Secure the primary and get those drones offline. Out. Those explosions are really weird. They're like fiery. Like incendiaries or something? I definitely hear a Vic up, up above us. Yep. These sounds so weird. This is Amber. Louisiana's open. I got one of your guys here, jamming an automated threat. Just need a specialist to flick the kill switch. Over. Rodwell, you're up! The rear gate's just beyond those rocks. Okay. I'm on it. Amber! Allied actual! We'll go! Check your fire! A drone operator's coming to you! Wait one! Out! What's up, boys? Uh, hey, Rudd. You mind? My arm. It's kind of aching over here. Keep that jammer on it, Jack. Hold space to disable UGV. What is that? Is that a little stick? What is this? Yeah, I tried that. Service panel stuck. You wedged a fucking screwdriver in it? <laughs> yeah, like I said, I tried that. It's stuck. There's an operator control station in the guardhouse. You can turn it off there, right? Master tools. Okay. Hold space. Stop. Edit. Parameters. 2039. Simulation false. And hey. <laughs> execute. That's actually kind of Howlite funny. Howlite one to Howlite Actual. Livonian Defense Force UGVs are out of action. I reckon I could pull some intel if you can wait one. Over. Oh, shoot. Ah, too slow. <laughs> Great. You bluebells get extra points if you shoot us in the back? Hey, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, wait, is this a... I shoot you front. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I appreciate it, pal. <laughs> uh, is this a training scenario the whole time? That was kind of confusing, but oh, look at the top. It says blank. Did Alpha I miss that? All signs. Index. How light? Impressive work out there. I've never seen such a clusterfuck. <laughs> you can run the gauntlet again this afternoon. Maybe the reserves can show you how it's done. Further to my last. Transfers. We hadn't had the pleasure. To see me at the talk. Out. You catch that, Rudwell? Report in. Tactical Operations Center. That's the green container with an asshole outside. It 
sad that those don't fall down because we're only using blanks. It's a sad day. Alrighty. What's up, you the sir? New blood? Yes, sir. Specialist Aiden Rudwell. I've just been reassigned on a PCS. Then you are my problem. Wonderful. Do you have a map? Uh, just a sketchbook, sir. Not enough maps to go around. Sinews of war, huh? Rip that one off the whiteboard here. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Our joint exercises span the Nadbor region. As you know, that's pretty much one big military training area. No civ pop to give us any trouble. But this... This is premium strategic real estate. The Andreev Gap. Take ground here, and you close the door on the Baltic states. Huh. Anyway. Our boys are pushing east from the Kaliningrad border. Obviously, in this scenario, role-playing as the Russians. That means okay. we'll be facing off against the Livonian Defense Force. Already this morning, we've put some pressure on their MSR here. Later today, they'll counterattack, dominating the high ground south of our position. So we're just doing field training as exercises this, right now. Live fire on this hill. Ah, uh, perfect. That's this country pissing on our fireworks. I shit you not. Even the weather here's against us. Listen, <laughs> let's wrap it up. Point out anything you want to know. Uh, that there, burn pit? that's a black Goopsville, one of our many burn pits. Piss me off and I guarantee you'll see more of it. This road, it's not part of the training area? No, civilian corridor. It's the only way through to Nadbor if you haven't got a pass. Huh, okay. Uh, radio Is that tower. a military tower? Kind of, Armed Forces Radio. It only airs your lieutenant's pick of classical music. If I were <laughs> the colonel, I'd make that a tier one priority target. Nadbor. You know if that's a large town, sir? Large enough. Just don't expect a warm reception. People there, they've had enough of army folk. Camp Magnus? That's the Livonian Defense Forces MOB. Aside from being their main base of operations here, it's also the home of the elite 5th Regiment, Special Forces. You'll spot them by the wolf's head insignia on their sleeves. Ah, Polana. The LDF have a small logistic staging area at the junction there. It's only home to a few MTA wardens now. Polana was also in Chinaris. Shapka, Shapka 41. 41. Let me guess. An old Soviet site? Mm, radar base. LDF tests the drones there. Huh. And Jim Conrad. Conrad. That an FOB, sir? It is. And right on the edge of our live fire zone. All right, then. Let's get this shit show on the road. See that concrete office across the courtyard? I need you to go on over and assist your slack-ass corporal. I need that electronic warfare demo making sense. Alrighty. All teams for Razumian firing grant. Assemble at the embarkation point. It's funny, they brought back old... They brought back old Arma 2 buildings. I need to, you know, cement it in. <laughs> yeah. But I can't fix the problem between your ears, Lane. Oh, Oof. Screw it, then. The only words I need now, I got in English. And this, I'm not sure... This is not looking like an Arma 2 building. Yo, Runwell. Corporal Stipe's up on the roof if you're looking for him. Ooh, yeah, this is a cool building. A lot of cool new assets like computers and high-tech looking stuff. Because this is, what, four years after the events of Arma 3? Because Arma 3 was 2035, now this is 2039. No fucking way. You here for a 101? <sighs> Homewood's orders. I got voluntold. The Don? So what are you, like idiot proofing? Hey, I didn't want to be here, Jack. Ah, whatever. Better you than some damn bluebell. Jammer's on the desk. Let's get you zapping shit. Okay. Now, what you've got there is some funky fresh tech. A modular electromagnetic spectrum device with an integrated analyzer. Oh, that's catchy. Yeah, which is why us Sparkies call it a spectrum or M-spec device. My frames are really low, like 30. I don't know if that's just the game. Ah, here we go, my faithful assistant, Monsieur de la Darterre. Is that UAV on a program? I don't know, it's doing stuff, ain't it? Okay, so, point the antenna at him, yeah, hold I see it, the... and wait for the signal to scan. You ought to get a confirmation beep. 
So hold on it, and see those bars there we go. Up on your display? That's his signal strength. You can use those readings to get a rough location of the source. Okay. First lesson's tracking. Hit him up over to the right, and again, scan that signal. If you aim at our little friend and squeeze the trigger... Oh. He's slowly dying. We got him. Ah, okay. He's setting down. Telemetry's out. Yeah. The noise you're transmitting breaks the connection. Autopilot takes over. He thinks he's out of range. Huh. Specialist Rudwell. Lieutenant Kingsley. You got a minute? I need a sanity check up at Point Dakota. Over. Uh, to yeah, um, <clears throat> affirmative. North or South Dakota, sir. I think we're supposed to go up here. Okay, yeah, there's some stuff. Hey, what's up? Rudwell, nicely timed. I gotta verify some numbers for the live fire, and, well... All I'm getting is a false negative. Maybe a dud designator. Could be, but only the GPS is out. Huh. Do you mind if I take a look at it? Yeah, no, not at all. Be my guest. Boop. There's a load of concrete targets. On the hilltop to the south. Should be marked with purple smoke. Okay. Okay, I got him. Coordinates are zero, six, seven. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's glitching. Yeah, that's definitely off a little bit. Magic touch? <laughs> you know it. Okay, can you give it another shot? Zero, six, eight. Zero, six, eight, zero, one, five. Confirmed. Great job. Really? Hold here a sec, I'll call it in. Zero, six, eight, zero, one, five. Alchemist, Howlight Actual, requesting cast support on zero, six, eight, zero, one, five. Over. Message received, Howlight. Stand by. The Great Hawks vectoring for approach. Out. Give it a few secs. Payload's a GPS-guided smart bomb. You're not gonna want to miss this. You ever seen one of those things go boom before? Yeah. Right. Drone operator. You sign up for that? Not really. I enlisted as a translator. Six languages and an extra G every month. Then, it all went digital. <laughs> Anyhow, long story short. Helped my kid put together a mini-bot last Christmas and figured, hey, Army can have me doing drones. Pointless to fight the future, huh? Okay, so where's the strike coming in from? Is this an A-10? I think he said a bomb. But I'm spooked at this grid coordinate because I can't mark okay. anything else. There he is. You got him? Uh, oh, yep. I see him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's missed it. Overshot the target by what? Half a click? Uh. No. Oh my god. All call signs. Incoming on the factory. No play. No play. <laughs> Code echo. I say again. Code echo. Uh. Jesus Christ. Rudwell, get down there. Find out if there's any casualties. Oh gosh, I can't get down very quickly. Uh-oh. I don't know how big that bomb was. Ooh, yeah, not good. Oh, fuck. Lieutenant, it's bad. One of ours, wounded. Two others, non-responsive. Uh, six, maybe seven, LDF, all dead. Advise, over. Get a med kit. Move that APC off those cobbles. We need more space for a helo. Med kit? Nice. Whoa. The heck? Whoa. <laughs> Sure. Negative. Okay. I see shit. Over. Uh. Uh. Jack, you all right? Ground gave way. Give me a hand, would you? 
coming. The heck? Lieutenant, Jack's hurt. The APC dropped in a sinkhole. And there's something real weird. Hold space to treat Growing injury. Up, out of the ground, over. Okay, I'm treating his injury? Lieutenant, do you copy? I, was, I read told you. you. I got eyes on a dust off. Fuck. Just I guess the Livonians are... It's like a general up there. I think we just found something out. Ooh. The spooky star. Two weeks later. Two weeks. Hey Dang. Man. The Don wants you. Over in the comms tent. Yep. Thanks, Dill. Dill? Is your last name Pickle? <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, he'll never talk to me again. Rudwell. LDF just put the boot in. Where are your eyebrows? They went all this fritzed in 48 hours. 48 fucking hours. Oh. Never mind our permits for the roads aren't valid yet. Or or, or the fact that the NMCCs are all choked. No. Oh. <laughs> ah. His the voice actor. The us gone. Cancel the exercises by all means. But this, this is suicide by logistics. I swear if the Russians invade, it couldn't be too fucking soon. Mm. Listen. It's all hands on deck. Even the colonel's out there, hitting corner. I need everyone to do the same. Not a problem, sir. It didn't let me finish. I need everyone, including that slack-ass corporal. Corporal Stipe. I love that I don't have to explain myself to you specialists. <laughs> He's almost but got a lisp. I really like it. So <laughs> He's on task, carting our literal shit over to the burn pit. I'm sorry to say, I want you to tag along. Stop him from getting on the business end of an MP's nightstick. Roger that. Things are tense enough as it is. The Livonian Defense Force have the accident area locked down. You know why? I just got the word. Highly toxic vapors. In addition to structural instability, that factory is sitting on a landfill of chemical crap. Huh. Methyl isocyanate. Apparently it's real fucky stuff. LDF began evacuating Nodbor this morning, and the radius of effects only getting bigger. So, PPE will be mandatory from zero hundred hours. Oh, sir. Uh, Norad's on the line here. Patch it through to the LC's office, would you, Keats? In the meantime, you're hauling ass. Okay. There's a loaded hammock over by the main gate. Got it. Hold space to advance. Holding space. Advancing. I don't know why it's... Why is it telling me hold space to advance? Oh, okay, it went away. Okay, I think we advanced. Hey, Major wants me with you. What? Are you his stoolie now? Okay, fine. I gotta ask a little favor first. The fuck you will, Jack. Last one I did for you got me NJP'd. <laughs> yeah. Could you just swing by the armory? Pick up my M-Spec device? I'd go myself, but, you know, reasons. I thought we were on a garbage run. Sure. But there's something I gotta do on route. Okay. Where's the... Okay, it's over here. Priority transfer. Class 5 cargo for LSA Mudok. All staff. Priority transfer. Baker. Class 5 cargo. Corporal Stipe wants his doohickey. Right. Spectrum device? There's one in the back of the Faraday gauge. Nice improv in here. You still expecting World War Three? Always, man. Doomsday clock. It's one... <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Unstable world leaders escalating tension, uh, ten, tens, oh my gosh, tensions, uh, between NATO and member states, rampant expansion of nuclear arsenals, looming threat of climate change. Huh. Living on a razor's edge. All right, thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right, so I got the, uh, Spectrum device. Don't know why my friend wanted it. You know, they, they don't use burn... Do they still use burn pits? I feel like that's like a last resort thing in military. So it's crazy that they're still using burn pits in 2039. 
Because I know, like, statistically, the the no, health I'm driving, then. problems you I'd get. I'd say that's a Nuts. reasonable assumption. You're gonna give me directions or just be a prick all night? Directions? Oh, you really have been living the high life, haven't you, Rudd? Doesn't know how to get to the good old Black Goopsville. Follow the road, Black princess. Goopsville? <laughs> you mean the smell? Ah, there we go. That's the spirit. Whoa, okay. I get it, I get it. We can shut up and you can drive faster. <laughs> Uh, this is terrible frame rate, by the way. I'm getting sometimes like 20 FPS. Turn I right. hope that uh. Oh, it's not through the roadblock. Those guys are very hazmat looking. They're all wearing like full CBR in suits. But yeah, the frame rate's not been really good. I hope that uh, people playing on lower end PCs can play this at a smooth rate, because it's like I've got a 8700K with a 2080 Ti, and I'm running 35 frames right now. Which that's okay. okay. Top of the hill. If I look over Pull there, over the lay -by. it's 24. The layby. I guess this is the layby. Okay. Oh. Darkness. You want to tell me what we're doing? Hasn't anything struck you as kind of strange lately? Yeah. Life is strange. What's your point? My point? You hear that shit about a chemical leak? Yeah. You hear we got 48 hours to get our asses stateside? Yeah. Cause I'm hearing everything. Cause it's all out there, tinkling on the airwaves, Rudd. You don't believe me? Try the spectrum device. You see the transmitter tower? Focus the triangular antenna at it. And, uh, switch to detail mode. On your screen, oh, okay. you got wavy lines. Waves, Jack. Yeah. Our electromagnetic sea. Now, in with those, there's a peak. That indicates activity. There's also a vertical bar. Okay. Slide that over to the signal while you're aiming at the source. <laughs> music? Oh, it's the classical music. Music? Huh. It's modulating the signal, too. That's not all. The LDF? They're using pretty basic encryption. Scramblers? Yeah, poor bastards. Hard as nails, dumb as planks. You cracked their comsec. In a way. I swiped a couple grams of modafinil from the medic supplies at Point Hopi Oof. and exchanged it with a militia nut for the price of a genuine bluebell radio and its crypto key. Oh, Christ. Okay, so, go ahead. There ought to be some chatter, bouncing between whatever's going on at the factory and the burn pit, a short ways up the road. Oh, and, okay. yeah, don't forget to adjust the vertical frequency band. Otherwise, all you'll get is static. Oh. Huh? Acknowledge, give us the next one, over. Huh. Uh. Troke load of mixed, plus one more of hazmat. As for the second drop, they didn't make it over. What? Wait, 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 I gotta find... There's like... Though no mention of the sinkhole or route they saw, over. Copy that, Sergeant. Remember, lethal force is in effect beyond your checkpoint. Do not let anybody wander off out. Huh. Okay. You used to be a translator, right? You get any of that? I'm, I mean, I'm reading it. They're not talking about an industrial disaster, are they? You think this is a cover-up? I asked around about the factory. There was never any landfill there. The Soviets built it on top of an old sawmill. And as for that thing we saw in the sinkhole, I, I got nothing. You huh. hear that? Sounds like a helo. Moving target. Try and catch him as he comes over. Oh. Oh, okay. There's a truck on the road to the burn pit. Driver stopped. They could be they got a puncture. Must make another pass. Get a moving over. Negative Raven One. Return to base. You have a priority asset awaiting transfer. Copy. We'll stay on task. Vectoring for approach now. Out. Oh. Nicely done. So I there. guess you're going somewhere with this. I need a wingman. No. No, what you need's a fall guy. 
You are the fall guy, Rudd. The blue on blue. The loss of face. The protests. The politics. If the DOD can't pin it all on Russia, who you think they're gonna come to next? The LT? Yeah, you're right. Or the pissed you're right. off linguist. Last scene on that day on a roof with a fucking drone jam. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I was with you, jackass. Or did you forget? No, I didn't forget. Drive us to the burn pit. And don't sweat it, I got a plan. Hmm. Well, there's a soda. Can I shoot the soda off? Oh, no, I can't. Alright. Zero out of ten. Can't shoot the soda off the post. It's not worth it. Don't buy the DLC. No, just kidding. So far, it's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Alrighty. I really don't need the lights. The lights are super bright. I'll keep them on, though. Maybe the military might not like if I have them off. Yeah, if I zoom in, my frames go to a nice smooth 41, but if I zoom out, man, I'm getting, yike, 24 FPS. Hopefully that's not regular through this DLC, because that's not very good at all. Hang a left here. I think 19, 24. Now what? Whoa! Uh, put us over by them containers. Right, already kind of uh, Jesus, there. that stench! Bet you can feel it coating up your lungs already, huh? Well, you got a choice. It's either step out of the cab and we shovel shit, or I run you through the plan, which I may add does not involve sucking in the sweet stuff. Okay. You in? Depends. You gonna get me killed? Not if you don't do anything stupid, I won't. Look, we're right next to the LDF's restricted zone. I'll distract the guards while you get near the factory. I made a load of notes on your okay. map. Infill, exfill, plus a vantage point. Did you jimmy my footlocker to do that? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you very much. Yo, you're welcome. Soon as we hop out, beeline for the corner wall. There's a break which leads down into a gully. Uh, what's a gully? Six languages, and you don't know what a gully <laughs> is. I'm disappointed. All right, uh, so come on, let's do this. Oh, oops. Hey, free vet. Free vet. <laughs> All right. Move to vantage point of objective. Full disclosure added. Okay. I guess all I need to really listen to is just the move to vantage point thing. That's all I really need to know. Why am I moving so slowly? Am I out of stamina? Why am I... Why am I moving slower than usual? What? Why is time slow? Is something happening? What? Hello? Time one? Okay, that's better. That was weird. I had to adjust the speed of time right then. It was Rudd? really weird. Yeah. Remind me why I'm doing this. Because you didn't want to play in Dookie or end up in prison. You probably speak Russian, right? I'm not a sleeper agent. No, <laughs> I know. Just don't shoot anyone. The bluebells may be dicks, but uh, they're fighting for the good guys. <laughs> the world really is up black and white for you. What? Never mind. Careful as you go down, and if you got it on, watch out for the flashlight on your spectrum device. I'm gonna shake things up a little. Okay. I like that Heli would see me at that speed, but just in case. Just in case. What? Stipe, come in. Jack, talk to me. I'm hearing shots fired. Come in. Quite the diversion, ain't it? What the fuck did you just do? Relax, they're flanked. <laughs> crap barrels. Son of a bitch. Avoid roads and find a gap in their lines to sneak through. That bought you a small window of opportunity. Better use it. Oh, shoot. That's moving in front of me. Oh, there's a flashlight, I think. I'm gonna get up here in this bush. Oh man, there's a car coming. Definitely a patrol. Oh man, that car's like right there. This guy's looking away. We're clear. That guy would definitely be able to hear me, but he might just think I'm a friendly. 
this is spooky. I like the uh, the atmosphere right now. I like there's like creepy music in the background too. There's like owls cooing and stuff, and uh, the music there's like ambient scary music. It knows that you're expecting like aliens to hit at any moment. Some rocks and one of them buried pyro containers. Beyond that, you'll have a real good view of what's going on below. Gotcha. Uh. Okay. Must just be up here. Yep. Here's the cliff. Buried pyro container. Yep. Okay. Cool. Oh, they're building Jack, a dome. You ain't gonna believe this. You were right. It's a black site. The LDF are building a dome over the sinkhole. I fucking knew it. I've seen a place like this before. Okay. This is what you're gonna do. Huh? Spectrum device. It auto records by default. Get any intel you can. We're gonna blow this whole thing open. They're all wearing masks and respirators. And there's hazmat guys too. Oh, he's talking smack to the other guy. We should go save that one. We should go kill that guy, save that one. Alright. Uh, oh, search for signals. I guess I should. Where was that from? I don't take it personally, lad. Take protocol. They took mine too. Phones or phone calls in or out. Do you want to talk? Use the radio. It's a, Stay in this channel. Switching frequencies, hell. It's a Viking accent on that guy. Alright, so main site, I guess you already know about. The second we only just discovered. On the hill, over near the helipad. We'll bring you up Update. to people in the locals region. The shit's getting stranger by the second. There's a Scottish guy here and he mentioned there's a second site. On the huh. hill where Point Dakota was. I'm not far off. It's quiet. One truck. Not many lights. Point Dakota, I that's just across. A half a click from the RV. Just check that fancy map of yours. You're saying you want me to go scope it out? Sure, why not? Because it's crazy. I'll never get through the factory. So don't go around or cut through. I don't care. But you gotta get a look in at that other location. The answers we need are there. I know it. Yeah, I'll go around the right side. Ooh, there's a patrol right on that next road. Okay, hopefully we don't run into the slow-mo bug again. Yeah, okay, it's not happening. That's good. Uh, there was a patrol, like, right there. Oh, and there's a tank right there, too. They're not looking this way, though. I'm just gonna try to sprint run, kind of outrun that patrol, because if they're going the way I think... Probably need to get out in front of them and get past them quicker. I really like the forests, man. They look really good. Maybe not as good as Daisy's standalone forests, which uh, we'll talk about that in a future episode. But uh, I've been playing a little bit of Daisy on our server lately, and it's pretty pretty fun. It's not perfect. It still has a lot of problems, but uh, it's all right. It's all right at best. This is super foggy in here, man. I can't see more than 50 feet. It's very volumetric, though. Like once I'm once I'm this high, like the fog is much, much clearer, much more transparent. All right, so here should be able to sneak past this next compound. some on trucks in that compound there. Just go along the outer wall. Somebody's talking in there. Yeah, these are Arma 2 buildings. And that's the same texture from Arma 2. <laughs> Look at that. It's 2019, everybody. <laughs> same exact texture. I wish they at least uh, retextured some stuff, but I mean, any more objects in Arma 3, any, anyways, it's like as long as it's interval, I'm happy because that does add more buildings in to the game. 
This is getting spooky music now. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, alarms, alarms are going off. Oh. Nothing to do with me. You sure you didn't get spotted? I don't think so. Okay, wait. I got a view from here. Definitely a lot of movement. Yeah, something's got them on edge. It's the aliens. Stay on track. If it ain't us, it's more chaos we can use. Definitely more aliens. They're just aliens. The whole time. It's a very lit night, even though... Oh, okay, there's the moon. The moon's not even full moon, though, and it's super bright right now. It's, like, the brightest I've ever seen a night in Arma 3. I wonder if they added a custom parameter or something to make the moon brighter. Because it's like, this is really not that dark at all. I guess it's also a perfectly clear night though as well, but still. It's very bright out here. Jack, you copy? I'm here, what you got? Not a lot, though I'm close to our zone of interest. Great, listen, there's gonna be at least a few LDF guys on guard there. You'll need to get creative. The Spectrum device has a signal library, and in that library, there's a signal. A message from a jumped up bluebell colonel. If we're lucky, we can deceive the sentries. Send them off fuck knows where. Station names haven't changed since the exercise. Okay. Grey Wolf is still in command, and everyone else is using the standard NATO alphabet. That squad out there? We just gotta find out who they are. And how do we do that? Should be easy. Bring up the signal library. Listen to him. One of them was just talking. That's just a beep. Uh. LDF net. Okay, I'm there. Oh, Switch okay. The music you recorded. If you send that signal in the direction of the squad on the company frequency, they'll radio HQ and report interference. That means you'll get to hear their call. Oh, call okay. And then check the library again. See if there's an address to match their ID. If there is, use it. Same as with the music. Once they respond, select that movement order I told you about and relay it to them. Okay. Just don't broadcast shit randomly. If they realize they're the subject of electronic deception, they'll go dark. Gotcha. Same with the entire combat thing. It all goes down. <laughs> and we want to keep them talking. Exactly. But, uh, keep in mind, to hear both speakers in a conversation, you may but have to redirect the device. This is Delta over. More or less aligned. You can only detect what you're pointing at. Is there the anything else I need to know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's important. Delta when impersonating a station, you. be careful about your background trajectory. I really don't want anyone receiving sent messages. It'll give the game away. Just transmit the music, listen for a response, pose as Grey Wolf, contact them specifically, and issue our fake command. Fine, got it. Uh, what if I hit a rut? You can figure out how to make your own distraction. Oh, I got it. That was easy. Easy peasy, boys. Alright. It's me. I can't believe it. They bought it. Oh, ye of little faith. Once they're gone, get a look at. Alrighty. Big computers and stuff. And a pit with another thing in it. And a hose. Hose that goes to hey, that. Hey, so you near it yet? What's there? Huh. Right. Come on, answer. Uh, sorry, no answers. The only questions. What? Knock it off with that mystic shit. Is it another one of those things? Yeah. Yeah. They dug it up. Looks like they were doing tests on it or some kind of fumigation. Can you cut a piece of it off and take it with you? <laughs> you can fuck right off if you think I'm gonna touch it. Okay. Can you lift a laptop or something? Too risky. But once they see stuff missing, they'll be on us. Shit, wait. I got a USB stick on a keychain. Yeah, awesome. Where? Access something. 
Oh, I have a USB stick. Get them on it. Oh shoot. Is there a heli coming? Uh oh no. There's a helo. I know! Bug out, I ain't kidding. Just another two seconds. We'll do it. Got it. Oh shoot. Oh man. Uh, I just messed it up, didn't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, um, oh, <laughs> no. holy shit. Uh, Respond. thank you. you God, Jack, please tell me you didn't just take down that helicopter. I didn't take down the fucking helicopter. <laughs> Did you see what happened? No, negative. Power surge. All the lights are out everywhere. Make like hell. North, head north. Got it. Tree line. There's a ranger's cabin in the forest. Got it. Okay. All right. That was. Yeah. Okay. You think Alrighty. it's a Russian offensive? Gotta be. Atmospheric EMP. It's better they just went nuclear on us. Our radios? They're built for it. Keep moving. I'm gonna pop a flare. No, wait, you idiot. The LDF. You're gonna give away my position. Oh, did he still pop the flare? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? You popped the flare like that? Why would you pop a flare? We are in a still. I guess. I mean, I guess the LDF have something more to worry about when a helicopter just went down due to a pulse. I don't think they're gonna think that one guy uh, made a EMP the scale of Modern Warfare 2 come over the place. This is a very pretty terrain, though. I mean, just like at nighttime, I love the look of this terrain. It's very pretty. Is there smoke, or is that another flare? Did he? Pop two flares on accident? It looks like there's like a huge fire. Like not a campfire, but like a big fire, like a bonfire. Oh my gosh. How is the house on why is the house on fire? What <laughs> what did you oh, do? Oh, oh. So we're torching the place now. Oh, that's a great idea, Jack. Start a fire. Let's kick back, roast some fucking marshmallows. It ain't my fault. <laughs> Maybe we can help it spread, huh? Burn the whole goddamn world, yeah? Hey, it ain't my fault. Flare came down on the roof. Not your fault. Not your fault. How's this anything but your fault? Oh, if the uh, price the, is the smoke was there before the barrel, flare. I'm drilling a hole in your head first, pal. Hey, asshole. Don't go shooting off fancy fighting words if you ain't got the brass neck to back them up. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Uh, Mother of God! Try, should I? That'd probably be a bad idea at this point. Look at the lights. Oh, take me. Take me with you. Aliens. <laughs> Fucking aliens. I never, never believed this could. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's Arma 3. Uh, hey, hey, you know? Yeah? Shit the fuck! You guys saw it? The hell it looked like? It was a big? A bright? Sort of squid-like. Smooth. Metallic. Holy fucking shit. And stuff <laughs> was just, just rising off the ground. Floating. You see it? How did we no, not we rise power. up off the ground? A bunch of us left Conrad. I was driving and... Uh, damn, yeah. Damn, but... Uh, Colonel Richter's dead. Oh. What? His helmet crashed. Jesus. You know who's in charge, Dill? Here? Uh, the Don. He's bringing arrivals up to speed. Oh, fuck me. 
You guys, you gotta go. Get the G2.